It's time to find the fees. Larry in Wichita, Kansas, I'm going to go to you first. Talk about some cons that can be, you know, maybe associated with that and what might someone need to be paying attention to when it they're considering or that they've already prepaid for their funeral. One of the cons is that it's possible that the funeral home might change hands or even completely go out of business. So you want to know if you're purchasing a, a funeral plan ahead of time, you want to know exactly what the outcome will be with the money that you've put down. Um, another thing to consider is that um, funeral plans can vary and be inflexible. Okay, one funeral plan, don't just go to one place and assume that all of them are going to be that way. Now, having said all that, uh, one of the things that used to be is that on a prepaid funeral plan, um, if you paid for it ahead of time, then you would owe nothing whenever it is that you pass away. But now, many funeral homes and funeral plans that may be independent of a, a, a funeral home, they do not give you that promise. They say if inflate if costs go up, we have to go ahead and charge you that at that time. And so these are all important things to keep in mind. Um, and we all know inflation is a real thing, and it's going to have its effects. So I'm going to go to Jonathan in Kansas City. Talk about maybe some pros and cons here that you've seen or, or in your experience with people having prepaid funerals. What, what's some things they need to pay attention to? Well, I mean, the, the easiest stories to remember are really the cons, and Larry kind of touched on some of those pieces there. But the pros are, I mean, the idea there being you're, you're locking in a price at today's market value for the plot of land and potentially even the entire funeral service itself, although that's where we usually see the variability in costs where, you know, we've come across multiple families that their parents had – uh, paid for a burial plot, paid for the entire funeral service. And, and you know, as Larry brought up, the, the funeral home changes hands. And now you've got a new company with a whole new set of rules, a whole new set of pricing. Uh, and that can cause obviously its own issues because then that prepaid plan really is not doing what it was designed to do in the first place. But the idea is to try to lock in as much of that. So you, you have to be careful about making sure that you've got those guarantees in writing, whatever contract you can get with the funeral home um, and have some of those those fallbacks, uh, the plan B, what if the funeral home changes hands or what if they have some variability in pricing? You know, you really want to be very sure about what types of guarantees you're actually getting. Well, and at the risk of sounding insensitive, because I don't want, I, I'm not meaning to come off that way. I'm just going to kind of tell it how it is. You're going to be the one that does that transaction and you won't be here when that transaction has to be played out. So you need to make sure that someone knows that you've prepaid for all these things and what you've done, because if you don't tell anyone that survives you, then how would they know? Yeah. How would they know? I mean, uh, that's kind of an unfortunate situation there. So Danny, our, our advisor here in Wichita, Kansas, any, uh, any other pros and cons you want to add here? Well, again, as we've kind of been uh, nipping around the edges here of, of prepaid funeral plans, uh, they're a great idea in theory, <clears throat> but another issue that needs to be thought of is um, what happens if you uh, change re uh, residences, and I don't mean across town, I mean maybe across the country. So you may have a prepaid funeral plan, uh, for example, in Texas. I, I know someone who their first husband passed away, and he's buried in Texas, and yet this person is spending more time with the second husband than they did the first husband, and so now they have to decide, well, when I pass, am I going to be buried with my current, you know, next to my current husband or my current locale, or I'm going to be buried with my first husband? Uh, and so you can't take a prepaid funeral plan usually from Texas to Kansas to South Dakota. to So they're, they're not necessarily changeable about that. Um, again, Larry and Jonathan have both hit on, on both uh, good topics about how they can be inflexible. They're a great idea. It's just they come with some things that people need to think through. How are they going to to address these things uh, if there's some changes that come down the road, which we can always guarantee the changes are coming. Oh, sure. And I think one of the, one of the pros, I think that oftentimes uh, is a big selling point for people to go into that is they don't have to put that burden on their loved ones that are, that are surviving them. Sure. And, and uh, again, not sounding insensitive, but a lot of times the funeral home directors will want to sound 
uh, as though that's why that's the main motivation people are trying to have a prepaid funeral. So there's not emotion at a death. There's, there's going to be enough emotion at a death. And so the person who is creating the prepaid funeral, the, the, the client, if you will, when they pass, they're thinking they're taking that emotion away from their loved ones. When in fact, if these other issues come up, they may be creating other problems. Yeah. Or even the fact that um, if they have other life insurance, that's going to help them pay for that. Um, they don't need to worry about prepaying for a funeral because there's going to be that benefit there. I mean, everyone's situation is different and they need to have a conversation about it and walk around all the different aspects that could be unforeseen there. And if you guys need help with that, feel free to reach out to us at 833-888-HOUR or that's 833-888-4687 or email us ask, ASK at retirehour.com or go to our website, retirehour.com. You can watch past episodes there, but you can also submit your questions or book an appointment if you want to have a consultation. We're happy to have a conversation over the phone. We've got offices in Wichita, Kansas, Topeka, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, Prairie Village, and Independence. 